I can explain. Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And in today's video, we're going to go on a little thrift hunt and haul. So if you'd like to watch the thrift hunt, then just keep on watching. But if you'd like to just see the haul portion of this video, use the timeline below and you can skip around. Hi guys, we are at the thrift store. Hopefully they have something cool. I'm mostly here to pick up something that I left last week and I regret. So let's go. I spotted those and I kind of yelled. I, I, I swear this is one I was going to buy for you. She's from the Precious Shirts Moments Whatever Club. Dirty. We can clean them. Yeah, awesome. You excited? Are those good ones? Kinda That's a baseball one. No? No. She's supposed to be wearing a hat this hot. Like this. <laughs> well, we can fix it. Cute, huh? Yay. Well, I was going to turn on the camera to show whatever this is, because this is absolutely fascinating. But then I spotted those. And Brett's specifically looking for Precious Moments dolls. Oh, my God. That's not the worst. So, no, it's okay. It would be more on eBay, but cool. It would be about the same on eBay, probably, actually. Yay! Woohoo! Mm -hmm. They were here. I couldn't see it. Yeah, too Brett's tall. too tall. I saw him. I'm not sure why I found these here in this section. Somebody just put them here, but score, because look, they're exactly my size. And like, I need more just generic. Yeah, also, the rainbow high coloring book from Dollar General. <laughs> Roll out. I was going to do that on one leg, but you can't. Kathy from I was looking down at this to see what was rubber banded to it, because maybe it's another one that I don't have, but it's not Rainbow High, but look. <gasps> Am I a fan of this movie? No, but I love the flares. Oh my god. Score. Look. It's an ornament. He has a good eye. He spotted those out of this whole wall. Oh, is this? No. What are those? We're like looking close just in case. You guys. Oh my god. They keep restocking. I really hope they have that Elena Mermaid because I want her now. All right, sorry, a bunch of people are walking by. Look, I'm pretty sure this is 90s Little Pet Shop, so I'm gonna have to look real close, see if we can find them. Um, and then this I actually recognize, but I'm not 100% sure if it's a bootleg or not because I don't know the brand well enough. Um, but if it is what I think it is, I might get that. Um, it's a live doll, I'm tempted. Is that a Jojo Siwa? Um, one of those, she's still here from last week. See, people aren't really buying the dolls and I know a doll fell, I will pick her up. Do not worry. I wish the music wasn't so loud. I hope I can keep the audio in. I guess you'll know. Um, I just have to put background vocals on it, it'll be fine. Um, ooh, a cute Dora mermaid. So that's a good omen, hopefully. Ooh, is that... Oh, my... oh no, it's just her dress. Um, what is... Oh my God, that dress and boot. What is that from? I'm tempted to buy that doll just for the outfit combo. I'm thinking about it. Um, let's keep looking. Oh no, it looks like that Elena Mermaid's probably gone. Well, I feel stupid because I kind of recognized her last week and I was tempted, but I didn't end up getting her. Oh, Kim Possible. Ooh, is she pretty? I want to see her face. Also tempted by that. I haven't found anything that's sold me yet though. Like where? Because if I find one thing, then it's like, yeah, I'll wait in line. I'll buy everything. Oh, she was well loved. Um... No, out of all the dolls that are still here from last time I was here, the one that I want is gone. But that's my fault for leaving her, so I'm not mad. Starlight Adventure doll, I think. I haven't seen that movie yet, though, so pro I'm probably wrong. Really good Cinderella. Um, oh, it's okay. I will pick those up. Oh, Jordy. God, she's so cute. Um, ooh, Kawaii Cutie. Oh, no, that's a boxy girl. They get me every time. They do. <laughs> um, I'm just going to put that down. Um, I'm seeing a bunch of shoes here, and I'm curious about them. So let's see. There's Virtuelle. So who are these? Like, who is that? It's a Barbie? Is that her outfit? Probably not. Interesting. Um, no. Where is this mermaid? She could be behind us, though, because we do have more to look through. See, all these dolls are still here from last week. Like, I'm sure some got bought, but, like, not really. But that mermaid doll. Okay, I'm going to pick those up in a second, but we're going to turn around and look over here, and hopefully we find her. Um... Welcome back to the thrift store. We just stopped here because we were like passing by. We were on the way. 
And look at all that they have. Like, I can't believe how much they're restocking because how long ago was I here? It was only like, a well, you guys won't know, but it was, I think just a couple days ago. Look how cute this little Kelly is. I'm actually tempted, she's really cute. Um, I don't really have a collection of Kellys right now other than the Barbie movie ones, but I did have them as a kid and I do really like them. And I want that tree house. I had, I think it was a tree house. I'm not 100% sure, is this? Groovy Girls Girl Scouts with a little raccoon friend. And then, oh my gosh, they just have so much stuff. And they keep restocking it. It looks like the dolls are getting depleted though. Uh, but we'll see, maybe there's some new ones. I'm so bummed that they sold that Elena Valvelor mermaid. I should have grabbed her. I like vaguely recognized her and I thought she was from Elena, but I didn't Google it for some reason. This, um, Alia oh, looks different from mine. Just, this is a made to move Barbie. Back there. Oh, look at that, a Spectra. I think that's the ghoul spirit one, but I don't 100% know off the top of my head all the spectrums. So. Oh, I'd love to see a wing stall. <laughs> so they definitely restocked. How do they restock so often? Um, I pick stuff up if it falls after the video is done, just so you know. I, I never leave a mess, I promise. Um, then, cool. The magic wings bloom is cool. I still don't have her out of box, but, oh, I bet hair made me think bloom too. Um, this is a Madeline Hatter too. It must be from the same person as that um, Spectre. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but maybe. There's not a lot of dolls from that era. I mean, this this is Descendants 2 actually, so not the right era. And then, cute hair colors. Oh, this is a pretty Barbie, but no shoes or anything. All right, and then we'll turn around and check out the other ones. They have this area, which I assume they don't rotate as frequently, but we'll see. We will see. Yeah, it looks about the same, but still good to take a look because maybe I missed something last week. Oh, yeah. Cool. I mean, they did restart quite a bit, but there's not anything in particular that's catching my eye this time. Don't think they have anything we're looking for, but look at this cow. But I love her. She's got like, but she had little hooves. What? That is one of Odette's shoes. I want this. This is a good little bag. Okay, um, and I've really, it's really expanding. I love it. It's very nice for me, <laughs> specifically. Um, it looks like they haven't really restocked, but it's still good to check because they probably are still putting out some new stuff, just not a big amount. Some, this one's already open. It's a Naturalista's outfit in there. Um, moving down. Hmm. Not seeing anything specifically for me. There's a bell. I don't know if her skin tone is the same as Aurora's and I don't wanna just end up with another extra bell. There's Mal. Okay. These are Cookies Makery, I think. And, oh look, score. She only came with a pack. Okay, I found her while I was filming a short. I'm sorry, but look, Ghoul Spiritorioli. I think that's the name of that pack, sorry. It was from a pack. Yeah, it's the Cluster Girls Rainbow Dash. Um. That is the secret door doll's skirt, right? Um, but not the doll. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Usually they don't. Usually they, they screw you over and make you buy both bags. Um, why is that here? <laughs> mm. Okay. This is uh, Pocahontas. I really like the makery. They're so cute. Um, oh, I did not mean to pick that up. This. Chloe and one of those, I don't remember what they're called. They're basically just sky dancers, I think. Um, and then knockoff, what is this one from? I don't recognize it. Another newer kids show, I guess. There's an OMG, a cave club, and a Barbara. We have a Nana. Nana's -na -na. -na are really common here. Ooh, descendants. Like the smile of Oh, <laughs> it's like, why would a sunny be in the, yeah. Star Scout. Oh, that on is really cute. Both of them are. Their faces, but no outfits, so I'm good. It's a bunch of Disney stores. It's weird how many Disney store dolls show up here, but I guess people can go to like Atlanta. I think that's the closest Disney store, but maybe there was a Disney store here. I don't know, actually. Um, yeah, they haven't really, there's definitely some new stuff. That bloom, that's a uh, Magic Wings bloom. She's still here. She's like, take me home, Brooke, but no. I have you already. Oh, look, there's Deuce. Interesting. Did they just hate Torlai and Deuce? I mean, someone else probably, probably came by. Oh, 
Dang, that's the JC Penny Aurora. Ugh, I want an articulated Aurora and I will wait. And I will find one. She'll, she's gonna like avoid me for the rest of time. I just know it. Um, okay, I'm gonna check for my little ponies. Let's see what they've got at the antique mall. They're recording, but look, there's just a table full of dolls that are all marked five. And I, this was the top of my holiday Barbie wish list. So um, I think I might've just scored a bunch, oh my God. Wow, I don't... Well, going home with a haul. <laughs> what? Ooh, I love this one. I actually have this exact one, so I'll leave. Oh. Mine doesn't have all the accessories, though. I found her years ago. For $5? Oh, this one doesn't have a price tag. No, she does, actually. Is that for real? I'm gonna go deposit these. This is amazing. They're so beautiful. Looky here. That's a prince I need. I think this is the Nutcracker one, right? He's missing a crown, but like, how much does that matter to me? And then, ooh, there's Clara. Ooh, cool. I needed that one. Okay, sweet. Boop. <laughs> we are having a Barbie haul today. Who is this one? She's not for me, but she is cute. This is Barbie stuff, but nothing I'm looking for. Some little Furby McDonald's toys. Is this a kid core doll by chance? No, Mattel. Oh. Um, I guess I'll get him because I got his princess. So. And then look at this little playset. It's this, this the chair that goes to it. Yeah, how do you get in? This is really cute. Hmm. Okay, I'm in. So it looks like the this folds out, and then you have a table. There's one chair, at least one, goes to the set. Oh, the drawers too. Yeah, I kind of love this. I love these foldable play sets. How much? $12? Mm. This is definitely from my childhood era too. This is really cute, in really good condition. I think yes. Right, we're back at this antique mall and this booth has vintage Sylvanians. I actually don't know if I ever showed you guys these. Um, they're even marked Sylvanians, which is weird. I guess they were originally called that in America because they're called Calico now here, but Sylvanian everywhere else. But aren't those cool? In the original boxes and then We've got, I think these are called jelly beans, right? These are, um, ooh, that one's really cute. They're basically knockoff strawberry shortcakes. They did have strawberry shortcakes. I wonder if they sold. Um, there's another Sylvanian. There's another Sylvanian. Oh my gosh. And then, that's not toy related. I, don't think. I swear they have strawberry shortcake, but, I mean, that probably sold. It was right at the front of the booth and it's strawberry shortcake. Like, yeah. <gasps> you guys, look, it's an LO set. 36 doll hairs. I still have all my childhood Ellos, thankfully, but oh, look. Yeah, I already have Elloopolis. Oh my god. Do you guys know Ello? Should I do a video on these? I don't know how I would, other than just like a live stream playing with them or something. But like, these are so cool. They were Mattel attempt to do like a building toy, uh, specifically targeted at girls. But like, I loved the system. I thought it was so cool. Wow, I've never like seen those before in person like that. Well, other than mine, obviously. This is the booth that keeps on giving. Look. Okay, $28. They've lost their minds. But look, everything is actually on sale. Um, and I do have this one already, but isn't she so precious? And now I'm like, is that, that's beautiful yarn. Um, they have a lot of stuff. But anyway, if there's a 80% off sale, then I'm more inclined to consider... Oh my gosh, what is this? Power Functions Motor Set for Lego. This booth is so cool. They have so much cool stuff. Oh my god, I I would probably get the Ello stuff if it's truly 80% off, like, because it could go with mine, and 80% off of 36 is, you know, quite a, quite a big savings. That one's really cute, um, and then the hedgehog one, oh, and on. the Webkin's goldfish. Oh, it's a Mother's Day one! Oh. I have this one. I have this one too. I really like this one. Yeah, that's Webkins. It's terrifying. Did you? You had Webkins, right? I've heard of it. You didn't have them? This booth has this really pretty ho holiday Barbie that is on my wish list, but right now $30 sounds like a lot for some reason. Can you guess why? <laughs> um, I'll put it back up in a second. Um, but this booth generally, ha oh, it's just bootleg Pokemon stuff. They sometimes have some real stuff, but overwhelmingly. Oh, all well, the Pokemon stuff is actually kind of gone. Did it sell? I guess around Christmas. Um, that's real splunk from when I was a kid. Oh. <laughs> Some of them are real, but mostly fake, which is frustrating. And I like this shirt. Kind of interesting. 
This booth always has neat stuff. Oh, look. Are those strawberry shortcakes? Of course, Garfields. Everybody's always got to have Garfields. Oh, the Fallout Boy, too. The Vault Boy. Fallout Boy, oh my god. Um, look at this furniture. It says it's Mattel 1980. That's so cute. And it's metal, by the way. I don't know what's up with that. Really cute. And then this is something completely else. Oh, Peppa Pig. And that. Check it out. It says this is Spielware German dollhouse furniture. And it's also $600, so... um. Looks cool though, but it's not for me personally. And then what's in this one? A bunch of little things. This is gorgeous, wow. I just think I need this to be a proper lady. Welcome to the haul. So these thrift trips take place over the course of, I think around two weeks. Um, one of them was yesterday and that's the largest haul and the one with the least amount of footage. And then I just have some general random thrift trips in the other baggies so woohoo i'm just gonna get started by grabbing a random bag so this one i believe is our oldest one and i know that because we have these two precious moments dolls so my husband really really loves precious moments dolls specifically but there are two different types of the dolls there's dolls like this that have a plastic body plastic head plastic limbs that you can move and they come in several sizes but then there's also ones that have plush bodies and he doesn't really like the plush bodied ones so this was a huge score to find two of the ones that he actually likes um yay so these were really fun and we actually almost missed them i spotted them uh because he, he's too tall so he couldn't see the shelf but i just saw their little legs poking out and realized what they were and yeah he was really excited about that so then on this trip as well just shortly down that same aisle i don't always check this aisle but i really need to this was a fashion fairy tale coloring book so this actually might be my least favorite Barbie movie. I need to go through and fully watch them all because I haven't seen every single one yet, but ooh, this one was not for me. I, I need to try to watch it again and see if I'm just being a hater. Um, but I do love the aesthetics of it. I love the like the colors and everything, and I specifically love these little freaks. What were they called? Glimmies or something? Shimmies? I don't remember. Uh, but these little fairies, they are so, so cute. And isn't this darling? So I think it's unused. Yeah. It hasn't been colored in at all yet. And I mean, finding, oh, oh, cute. Okay. So it has been colored right there, <laughs> but that's no big deal to me. But finding a like older Barbie movie coloring book is always going to be a treat. And I'm excited to add this to my collection. So yay. It's complicated with the Barbie movies because even if I don't like the movie, I do like the dolls. So <laughs> um, her dress is actually really cool. That doll's interesting. Um, is she the one that kind of looks bootleg in the face? There's one, I think it's Mariposa too. Um, Mariposa and the Fairy Princess, I think, is the second movie. That doll is a mess. The first movie, amazing. Like, the doll is amazing, but the second one, it's like, what happened here? Anyway. Then we have the other things that I found on this day. So I'm not gonna lie to you, this doll's getting redonated. I bought this because, look, it was $2.99, and I just love the outfit. I don't know if the previous owner put this together, or if the thrift store just threw this together. I have no idea, because I know they do that sometimes. But look how cute! I needed this dress. I have no idea what brand it is if you know let me know but i just thought the dress and boots combo oh it's actually on his boots isn't this cute i wanted to use it for a different doll so i grabbed it because i was just so enchanted by this dress and it's not every day that you find cute actually detailed black dresses in general for dolls i feel like you usually get like bright colors and yeah i love a black dress so i grabbed that on a doll i also grabbed this was a very small haul this bag and this bag was $5.99 and I grabbed it for one thing inside of it and you know if you saw the footage I think she's missing her glasses but this is the cookie swirl C doll <laughs> and if you don't know who cookie swirl C is I don't really either I just know that she's a youtuber and my stepsister when I was younger uh like 10 years ago really liked this youtuber so I just remember that intro would bother me when I would hear it from across the room that like cookie swirl C <laughs> um but I was like oh my god it's a YouTuber doll. I just, I, it, that is funny to me. And she was super affordable, so I grabbed her. I, I'm pretty sure this doll is supposed to have glasses, though. I think she's still around. I think she is a VTuber now or something. Um, but yeah, cute outfit. Really funny doll to have. And then in this bag, let's see what the other dolls are that we're just kind of lucked upon. Okay, this, is that a fashion pack or something? This is a really interesting outfit for a Millie, but she has, um... Millie being this specific face sculpt of Barbie. It's like the current face sculpt they're using for everything. 
Um, she's the open mouth Millie, which isn't my favorite. I like the closed mouth one better. Um, her hair is very, very soft and short. It's actually Saran, which is cool. She is articulated with the body that I prefer. I'm not a made to move person. Like, it's fun. If a doll comes with a made to move body, I'm happy about it. But I prefer this body. Even though it's less poseable, I just think it looks really nice. Especially the arms. Like, I think the arms are really cute on this one. But yeah, I have no idea what her deal is, but it's kind of a cute outfit. Is it good quality? No. This shirt is passable, but this is an abomination. But, like, overall, this is decently cute. I think this must be a fashion pack, though. And then we also have this little dancing Barbie. She could be from a movie. She's a 2010 one by the face. Um, I don't know. But I, I actually really like the ones with the permanent ballet, ballet feet. I think it's cute. And she's very sparkly. Interesting one. It's so funny to me how much detail they put into the sculpts and then they don't paint them. It's, like, such a waste. Um, anyway, so that is that haul. Now, let's go this bag. So I think these next two bags are from the same trip. Uh, we will see if I recall. No, this was a trip a different week. Yeah, so I did not find dolls on this one. Unless these are from the same day, I don't remember. But um, <laughs> we found things that aren't dolls. So this bag I bought because there is one My Little Pony inside. And it is My Little Pony my friend said she was looking for. So I grabbed her. And she is one of the Generation 4, like, random ponies. And then again, like, nothing else in here for me. So Gen 4 had some background ponies included, not many though, and this one, her hair really needs help. Uh, but this is Cupcake, and this was one of my favorites when I was younger. I thought she was so cute. And um, yeah, so Gen 4 has very few random other characters. So if you spot a character that's not like a main character or a supporting cast character at a thrift store and you're like vaguely interested in My Little Pony, grab that one. You will not see it again. <laughs> They're very hard to find. I found this one like three times at a thrift store though, specifically Cupcake. I don't find the others because when I find them, I grab them because I have plenty of friends who are looking for them. Um, but I specifically find Cupcake a lot for some reason. Okay. And then this bag I bought because it's a doll clothes bag for $3.99. And I noticed there was some Rainbow High and this dress from Sweets, which is an LLOMG doll that has the most adorable dress ever. Mine's on the top row, so you can't see her at the top shelf. Um, but I just thought it would be cool to see what's in the bag. So of course we have Sweets' dress, which I'm excited. I mean, I have extras of Sweets, but they're still wearing their dresses, but I'm excited to have another one because this is really cute for restyles. It's just a really nice piece. Um, any of these are I'm not keeping. I don't have a use for them. They're like for teddy bears usually or like baby dolls, not for me. Um, this is a little Barbie, probably like a diving suit, I think. This is a little bikini top. I don't think that this is Barbie. I feel like this is probably bootleg, but I don't know. It could be Barbie. I mean, you can't tell anymore. Um, this is a little shirt that I'm probably not keeping. This is a doll blanket. It looks like, um, might actually just be a towel, but it needs washed. That was not my favorite. Um, <laughs> everything needs washed though, but that one specifically. Uh, Rainbow High Pants, of course. These are from the closet playset, right? Just little doll underwear. Oh, Crystal's skirt. This is a little headband, probably for like a baby doll. This is a little apron. This is actually a really nice fabric that they used on that. Um, the construction of this piece is nice. I don't know what this is. Seem I thought it was bootleg at first, but the construction's really nice. Um, I don't recall if this came with the closet or if this was violets, but another rainbow high piece. Here is a Barbie. It just... Is it a skirt? I guess it's a skirt. And then we have, ooh, sweet. I think these are Ainsley's pants. One of the pairs of Ainsley's pants. Score, I love these. Um, I don't have enough Ainsley's considering how much I love those outfits. It's a little shirt, which I'm not keeping. Um, is this homemade? No, it has a little tea tie on it. I don't know. Honestly, could be modern Barbie, so. <laughs> okay, and then we have this one full of accessories, which we'll look at now. Hey guys, welcome to this view. So we have our small bags. I added another one on, you'll see later, but this is the one that I was talking to you about. And I'm just excited to see what's in here. Oh, this one, I was I was on the fence about this one, but then I saw this, I think that's a Burger King Mew toy. Had to have it, because I had that as a kid and I still have it, but mine is like sun faded. Mine is not cute like that one is. Well, mine is still cute and special to me, but mine is not in good condition is my point. Okay, so anyway, this is going to be a very exciting bag because it's full of doll accessories. So, ooh. I think that's Barbie. Or no? No, it's not. Oh, I don't know then. Oh, there's like rotted rubber bands in there. Cool. And please let me know if you know what any of these are if I don't say what they are because, yeah, I have no idea. Um, this stuff. I like the little planter. It's cute. And then we have 
This says Disney, so I'm thinking like an animator's mini piece or something. I don't know. This I had as a kid. This goes to the um, Kelly babysitter sets and stuff. Or it goes to lots of different sets. So, so. Um, little picnic blanket, little shorts, little cute shrug thing. I like this. This goes to an LOL pet almost certainly. It's very sparkly. I love this. Oh, a My Little Pony G4 comb. A shoe. I think this might go to um, Equestria Girls. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing by the sun on there. But also they kind of had monster eye sized feet. So I don't know, actually. Um, little trash can. Like doll sized trash can. I'm not going to go over everything in too much detail. But yeah, lots of stuff in here. Ooh, that's a cute shoe. I think that's Barbie. I had this too. Oh my God. So this definitely goes to that little set with that. Um, where'd it go? This thing. I had these as a kid. Okay. This is, I think a Hasbro Pocahontas or shoe or something. Those might be Disney fairies actually. No, that's going to be a Hasbro Tiana. So maybe that other shoe that I had earlier wasn't Equestria Girls and it goes to um, Rapunzel Hasbro maybe. Well, that's Disney fairies for sure. I know that shoe. I, I have it. Um, Maybe a bell. I don't know for sure. There's another shoe. Lots of stuff in here. Um, there's some little paper goods from some Barbie playset, probably. A little dress. Fun. Oh, look, a little flounder. Well, that's a cute little figure. I like that one. Um, ooh. What are those? That's kind of yellow surprise, huh? Cute. Lots of fun stuff. This is an OMG piece, I think. Or oh, God. Do I not have this? What is this? I recognize this from somewhere. Um, I think it's an LOL product. Well, I'm, I, I know it's an LOL product. I love that the doll shoes, by the way, are rubber banded together. That was so thoughtful of whoever donated them. And then we have the Burger King Mew. So the idea with this, I think, was that the light would shine through somewhere and it makes the eyes look really cool. Or maybe it lights up by the switch. I have no idea. I had one as a kid and I still have her, but mine is like super yellowed. So this was a cool one. Mine also did not have the tail. I... It, I, it just occurred to me that it should probably have a tail. Um, but it came in a little Pokeball, I think. So it would come like this. And yeah, adorable. Much better condition than mine, so I'm happy. But again, like I'll, I'll keep my childhood one, even if that's not the one I end up ultimately displaying. But I, it's nice to have a better one. I don't know. Anyway, look at these little fairy wings. What do those go to? Cute. And then this bag had a little Kelly doll in it, which is why I grabbed it, because I love Kellys. I had a bunch of them as a kid, and I had their little tree house, which I've seen thrifting a couple times, but I want it to be, like, with, with at least some of its stuff. And I also don't have a whole lot of Kellys yet. I don't see them thrifting for whatever reason. Um, I don't know what this is. A little ladder? A stand for something? Here's some little tights, probably for a Kelly. Here's a little top. This is a Kelly popcorn bucket. Baby keys. Oh, that's actually a score. I've been looking for baby keys, but I can't find them. I don't know. Rabbits love baby keys. They love to play with them. Um, anyway, at least my rabbit did. Um, and then Kelly, little cutie pie. Like, what is this outfit? It's so adorable. I love it. So I don't, I'm not familiar with this particular Kelly, but I love Kelly dolls. Also, <laughs> Kelly. People try to correct me and be like, no, it's Chelsea. Yes, I know that's her name now, but it was Kelly when I was a kid. And that's that, that's this doll. It's Kelly, I swear. Um, this is a little Barbie horse bridle. Is that what this thing's called? Sorry, I'm not a horse guy. I don't know. It, for the amount of My Little Ponies I have, I should know. But um, here's a little outfit. Another little outfit. Or a little skirt. That's actually Barbie. I saw the Barbie tag through. Um, is that like a little scarf? Or like a table runner, maybe? I don't know. And then we have, oh, a little Megara. Cute. I love that. And then there's a staple through this, unfortunately. Um, so <laughs> let's try to undo this staple. Okay, got it. This is a material that I think will peel over time. It's a miracle it is not peeling yet, actually. Um, but it's just a little jacket, probably Barbie, by the material, I would guess that. And then I have, I actually had these as a kid, I'm pretty sure, these little Kelly shorts. They're familiar to me. Uh, but it's been a long time since I've had my Kellys, so I could be wrong. Um, this weird little shorts with plastic balls on them. I don't know what the deal with that is. We have a little doctor's clipboard thing. Oh, I bet that's her shoe. It has this silly little tassel on it. I bet that's her shoe. It's too bad the other one's not in here. And it's probably in one of the other bags I didn't grab. And then a little hat. And also this purse that fell out earlier. So, yeah, that's that stuff. And then I also have this bag of extras, which I grabbed because of the Generation 4 Cherry Berry. Because again, 
you don't really find the like other characters every day. So uh, here is the pearlescent cherry berry, my little pony. So I found two, and they venture to guess they're from the same home, but I don't know. But two G4 brushable other characters, and there's a bunch of random stuff in here. Like, I don't know. It gets getting redonated if it doesn't have a use for my collection. Like, 2018 Mattel. Maybe this is like for Kelly. This is actually cute, whatever it is. And then we have um, Neon Kitty. I think that's this one's name. Score, by the way. I love the LOL pets. I don't really grab LOL dolls usually, but the pets I will grab every time. I love them. And then there's this weird little... I swear this was like a line. It's a unicorn, but I thought this was a line of like little donkeys. or something. I don't remember what this is from, but I, I vaguely remember something about this. Okay, this is a knockoff of the Barbie dog, I think. Um, it has what it looks like a slot where babies would go, yeah. Um, and it even has the nipples. Um, so that's cool. It's going in the donate pile. I don't know. And a bootleg pony. I see these pretty often at thrift stores, actually. I've never seen one in stores that I recall, but I probably just don't recall because it's mundane to me. I, I see bootleg ponies and I just move on, unless it's one that I'm specifically interested in. Oh, this one fell out of the bag. A flocked LOL surprise pet owl. <gasps> Cute. And the flocking's in decent shape. I Flocked stuff is scary though, because I'm scared to wash it. I do it. I just very carefully wash it, um, like surface treat it. But anyway, then I have this bag, which, yeah, I think this was all the same day actually, because I remember this being like a really big, funny haul. Um, okay, this we'll look at. Well, you probably have already looked at, so these two bags I will look open together. But there's a Kelly in there. And then this Disney Fairies clock. I almost didn't get this because it's a little bit scratched up right there. But I was realizing, like, I don't think I would notice that when it's up on the wall somewhere. And it was so cute. And if I must, I could replace this uh, acrylic area or, like, plexiglass, whatever this is. Uh, but isn't this cute? It's got Iridessa and Fawn. And their pose was so cute. Why is Fawn not wearing shoes? Was she originally not wearing shoes? I thought this outfit had boots. That's interesting. Um, but this art was so cute. And I just, I liked the Disney Fairies clock. And it was only $3.99, so I grabbed it. And then this bag is full of Care Bears. And um, I've said this before, but I used to have a lot of Care Bears as a kid. I really liked them. But my mom um, gave them away to one of her friends when she had kids. So my Care Bears are gone. <laughs> they... I don't know where they went. But anyway, I I vaguely want to collect Care Bears again, but it's not something I'm going out of my way to do. It's just if I find them for a good deal and I'm not going to shop for them online or anything. That's my rules with the Care Bears. So this was like, ah, because these are the Care Bears of my childhood. These are not the versions that I had, though, because I had like the full size ones. Um, I don't know what these ones deals, uh, deal is, but I know these are the like 2000, yeah, 2002 for this one. And yeah, so again, I'm not super familiar with Care Bears. You cannot ask me any questions about these uh, but I thought this was interesting because I don't remember having very many of the I mean maybe this is the size they were I feel like they were bigger I feel like they were like right the regular size I don't know um but I don't remember the Care Bear cousins but maybe these came out after I was collecting or maybe it's because these are the size I wasn't like play I was a child that I wasn't playing with I don't know um but here's the the lion this is a different lion but I had the 80s lion when I was a kid Oh, wait, I know the size of them. I still have my America Cares Bear. That's a funny one that I just have for some reason still. Um, and then this is one of the, like, baby ones, I think, which I had the baby puppy and the baby kitty one, and I still have those two, actually. Well, I at least have the cat still. Um, but anyway, score. I found four Care Bears of the era that I specifically want to collect. I'll collect any Care Bears. I like them all. Um, and I really like the figures. Those are something that I'd really like to get back someday, but, like, those specifically are the ones... I mean, not that size, but that era specifically are the ones that I'm very much after because they're the ones from my childhood. And you never really see them at thrift stores because Care Bears are popular enough with like a general audience where people will grab them, you know, so and or just to resell people will grab them. People know to grab them. So um, you don't really find them a whole lot at thrift stores. So I was really surprised and yay, finally got some new Care Bears. And I'm really excited about this lion one because the lion was my favorite when I was a kid. That's why I had the 80s one. My mom went out of her way to find that one on eBay, I guess, to get me the lion one. So those finds, I was kind of stuck because I was like, those could justify a video, but it wouldn't be a super exciting haul. And it wasn't really an exciting hunt as much either. Like there was some hunt footage, sure, but it wasn't like super exciting. So the, the hunt didn't get much more exciting. Like the footage that I filmed for it, like it wasn't a lot, but the haul was a lot. And um, my husband randomly was like, 
let's go to the antique mall because there was a restaurant nearby we wanted to go to and we'll drive quite far to go to this restaurant. <laughs> um, so we were like, okay, let's make a day out of it. And I, I was legitimately like, ah, I don't know if I want to go. Like it's a, it's a, it's a far drive and there's not really anything for me there. Like we were just there and there like wasn't really a whole lot, but we decided to go anyway. And like, <laughs> I'm so glad we did because this is so much stuff. Like um, this is an amazing haul and it's all stuff that I'm specifically like after. So yay. Okay. So first I have the Prince, I'm pretty sure from the Nutcracker and he's of course missing. I think he came with the Nutcracker head, right? And then whatever crown he came with, but I'm sure I'll find some kind of crown for him. I will say that he does have fabric boots. So that's cool. And yeah, I don't have a lot of the princes at all for the early Barbie movies, so it is exciting to have one. <laughs> and then um, also I got this flat of Barbie dolls because Clara is right there. And I do have Clara, but she is in box and I've never managed to find her out of box somehow. So um, this is a score and oh, sweet. I couldn't actually see her face, so I didn't know if she had everything. She looks to be complete. Even down, okay, well, these are attached, but I've never had her out of box before. But she has her necklace, and her crown is a hair clip. Oh, that's so smart, actually. Look, it's a hair clip. Genius. And, oh, wow, she has articulated ankles. And that's really smart, actually, to have the the ribbons from, from the shoes. They are actually on the leggings so that they stay. That's really smart. And yeah, I'm excited to have Clara, finally. It's how long have I been thrifting specifically for Barbie movie dolls, and I've never seen this doll? I'm sure I've seen her nude, but now I finally have her, so yay. And she might be missing something to her outfit. I can check. I have her in box. And she's definitely missing. There's like a stand. There's like a special stand that makes her dance, but like, that's fine. But cool. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's him, right? The Nutcracker. And then we got a bunch of other dolls that I think are 80s or possibly 90s. I would assume 90s because Clara was with them. But, oh, well, checking the date is not going to help at all. Um, but this is some very long hair um is this hollywood hair by chance i don't know i'm i'm not super familiar like i'm not familiar at all if i'm being honest with you and i don't really have outfits for them so um we'll see these were just kind of collateral i love this long connect long hair though i am very excited to restore this one cute and then we have this little um skipper maybe she's she looks the wrong age is this stacy who is this um, she has a 91 slash 95 sculpt, so these are definitely 90s, or at least this one is. I mean, I think this is 90s. I fundamentally misunderstood what 80s Barbies looked like, apparently, because, <laughs> um, when I think something is an 80s Barbie, it's like, oh, it's an early 90s Barbie. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but she still has her skirt. Oh, by the way, this whole thing was like, uh, the price isn't on it, but it was like $15, which was awesome. And then we have this one. It's such a shame their clothes aren't on because, like, they still have their headpieces and their earrings and stuff. Um, but she must have been, like, a dancing, like, a ballet one. And I love her hair, the crimped Kanekalon. I'm so excited about this Kanekalon hair. Um, but it's definitely going to be a while before I find their outfits <laughs> separate from the dolls. Because normally, like, when you buy a doll nude, it's hard to find just the outfit for sale unless you just happen to find it thrifting as well. Which, I don't know. And some of these I might actually have because I do have quite a bit of extra Barbie clothes. But not as much as you would think, because I kind of avoid getting random amounts of Barbie clothes sometimes, unless there's something I really want in there. And then this is just a kind of random Barbie. Watch her be like the most iconic one, but I don't know. She's, she doesn't have anything super crazy going on. She just has her white earrings. And then, oh, cute. Oh no, she's balding. This is a late nineties, early two thousands one. And she is gorgeous. This is the type of face I love on them. I keep checking for the date as if it matters. That is a 95 body date though, because this one is articulated, um, but she's balding. Unfortunately, because it's Kanekalon hair. And Kanekalon hair is prone to balding. I'm not familiar with this. Oh, is this a teen skipper? I bet this is a teen skipper. Because um, I'm not familiar with this body. Oh, she's missing a pinky finger. <laughs> That's not a problem to me. Because you just pose her where you can't tell she's missing a pinky finger. And it's fine. Um, see, her... Um, she has a different build than Miss Barbara. So I think this is probably teen skipper. And her face is stunning. Really pretty one. I'm not familiar. And then we have what looks like another ballerina Barbie. Is she like the same vibe? She could be a similar vibe, just maybe like a pink version, but she's missing whatever headpiece that she probably is supposed to have. But she does have the earrings and they do have very similar faces, but the makeup is different or maybe it's just a variant thing. Uh, but they, they, they definitely have a similar hairstyle, but that could just be that they were styled that way. I don't know. And then we also have, oh my gosh, these earrings rock. 
Also, this is such a weird way, right? Like to put them on a cardboard flat like that. Weird way to sell them. Um, look at these earrings. Those are so cool. Um, I, I'm just going to assume that the earrings and stuff actually go to the dolls that they're on. And she has a matching ring. She's really cool. I don't know what her deal is. But a very beautiful Barbie doll. Um, I hope I have some kind of outfits from this time period that I can use with these. But if not, it's totally fine. I'll just wait until I get some. Because um, there is... I have good access to stores that have doll clothing reasonably often. So I'll probably find something. And then from that same booth, I have this little barbie i think it's supposed to just be a kitchen i'm not familiar with this one but this was just so cute and i love these specific the specific like late 90s early 2000s era of foldable houses for barbie i just love them i find them so adorable so we're definitely missing something here or at least i assume something is missing here but no big deal it's just something off the exterior and there is a really cute little door and let me remember how to open this because yeah there's a button here that you press it open come on let me in yeah there we go so I, I probably wouldn't have gotten this, but the fact that it came with the chair too, and it was a low price, you could see it in the doll hunt, but it was maybe like $15 or $18 or something. Um, so it has this fold out table situation. There we go. Very cute. Oh my God. Okay. So here's the little fold out table. Oh, maybe that is just like that because that's just part of the fold out table. I don't know. Um, but then it was supposed to come with two chairs probably, but I have one and that's something It's very cute. And it has this sink area, which you actually are supposed to fold out like this, I think. It makes like a little division. So you have your dining room on this side, which has little drawers and your kitchen on this side. And then the kitchen area is so cute. Look at, oh, I actually didn't look here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my God. I did not look. I only really looked at the fridge and I'll show you the fridge. It's really cool. Um, look, all of these little drawers are still in place. They taped them down so they would stay. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's metal. What is that? The like oven tray is like actually metal. What the heck? Wow. I wonder if they put that in or if that actually came with it. That is so cool. It's metal. And then, yeah, so this is, this rocks. I love that all the drawers are still intact. And you, you also have these doors for the under the sink zone. <gasps> There's no pipe under there. Where does the water go? And then this is a built-in like fake area. This is your because this has to fold in there that's why it's all empty there and then this is your little door to get in which is so cute you have these little so 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 cute and i have some actually really cute barbie uh like dinnerware that i could maybe put in here although mine goes to the i forgot the name of it but it was a popular line of like room stuff from the 2000s and mine was like a teal dining room set and i love it i love it um and like i feel like the dine like the dinnerware that came with it would look cute but it's not the same color scheme and then the fridge has little stickers still on it although some seem to have come off and then in the fridge I think maybe we're missing a couple of drawers or maybe these were the only ones I don't know but look there were a bunch of these drawers still in place and I just thought that was so cool so I decided to get it and you have this little drawer is this even a divider you can take out no I think it's permanently there but still like isn't that so cool so I was very excited about this one because these just folding houses are just so sweet. Ooh, something goes here too. Oh, there's a light switch or something. Yeah, isn't this just such a fun little set? I thought it was so cute and pleasant and it'll be really fun to use as like a photo set or if I can get it on display. My Barbie area does not permit something like this on their display right now, but hopefully soon <laughs> I can have a display like that for my Barbies because I don't know like there's a lot of Barbies that are just general like regular everyday outfits and displaying them in something like that would be very cute or the happy family midge I'm having trouble figuring out how I want to display my happy family midge something like that would be perfect little house that she can live in with her little family because I have quite a few of the other characters but then I also have the doctor and like and the the extra babies that came with the doctor like where do you put that I don't I don't know <laughs> anyway now I have my, I believe, eight holiday parties that I found. So this was really cool. Apparently there was one that I missed out on, and I'm just convinced that it was 2004 because that'll bother me the most in my heart. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Maybe there's like a distinct timeline where we can find out which one's missing. Uh, but this is really, really cool. So these holiday parties, my jaw dropped when I saw them, and I could not believe it because they were five, five dollars each. Each doll was five dollars. 
I unimaginable. My thing with holiday Barbies is I don't really feel the need to collect them all. I think they're beautiful and a lot of them have really awesome dresses, but it's not a collection that I'm specifically trying to build or anything, but they are very common secondhand because if you go to places like antique malls, which is where I found these, people buy those to collect them thinking that they're going to like, like gain in value. So it's more of like an investment piece for a lot of people. And also people get them as keepsakes and stuff. So they're common in box. They're common to find complete. And they're common to find for low prices because everybody collected them. So if everybody collects something and the market later on is not super huge for it, like Beanie Babies, for example, they're not worth anything in the future. That's how that kind of works. So holiday Barbies aren't really worth much at all. So my, my rule with them is that if I find them for like 25 and under and it's one that I really like, I'll grab them. So finding them for five each and if it's five each in box, it doesn't necessarily have to be one that I really, really like. Although I will say whoever curated this collection had really good taste because these are all gorgeous. Um, I really like all of these dresses. So anyway, starting off, we have 2008. And I think I have 2008's dress somewhere, but I don't have the doll at all. And just look at her. Beautiful, beautiful. And the packaging is adorable. If they have cute stuff in the packaging like this, I keep it. But this box, I mean, oh. Oh. I guess she's Eden. Cool. So this goes to the Barbie and a Christmas Carol. I do have the Eden doll, who I just kind of assumed was the holiday Barbie that year, but I suppose she was not. Um, cool. So there's a Barbie movie that was Christmas themed, Barbie and a Christmas Carol. So very cool. Yeah. So this is my new Eden Barbie, I guess. It's weird that she's not labeled as that at all, except on the back. And I really like that they have like the Barbie collector tag and stuff. It's just a very pretty pretty situation here and there definitely is some like stuff like there's some crud stuck in her bow there so definitely excited to get her out of here and wash her up I think these were all stored in a garage or something so they're not in amazing condition but again good for me because I'm unboxing them and if you want to see these unboxed I'm probably going to do a live stream unboxing all of them and we're not going to wait until Christmas that would be too long I want to unbox them so it'll just be a fun gown season because a lot of these aren't like strictly Christmassy um, anyway, next we'll go back one year to 2007. Now this is a doll that I not only have, I have this exact variant. So it's not just that I have the dress or like a different version of this doll. I have this exact one, but mine, I was so shocked because I found her and I was so like, that doll's so pretty. So I got her at the thrift store when I found her because I thought her face, like, look at her face. So gorgeous. So she has a beautiful face, but she also has um, like a really, really good quality, really nice dress. But mine only has the necklace, the dress, maybe the earrings, and that's it. But look, she has a little fuzzy ponytail thing and gloves. So now I have those. Oh my god, pretty. Yeah, so look how gorgeous this doll's face is. It's like mind-boggling. Frosty window panes, frame our festive Miss Claus at a fabulous feat? F-E-T-E? What is that? Fete? What? I don't know. The best holiday gifts at this party, fun, fashion, and lots of love. BarbieCollector.com. That's so cute. Yeah, so this is an awesome holiday Barbie, and I'm very excited to actually have her complete now. So, yay! And I love the frosted window design that they did for... They did that several times. It's adorable. Okay, next. I kind of want to keep in order. So do we have 2006 here? Yeah. 2006 is one that I do have. She's actually already on display, so if you've watched my videos, you've seen her. But this is a variant that I don't already have. And... The face sculpt they chose is so good. So this is the Bob Mackie Holiday Barbie. I think Bob Mackie did several of them, but this is one of the like big, like that. that's Bob Mackie. And I love this one. The The Christmas tree drawn on the dress is so pretty. I love this stole thing. Does mine have that? <laughs> I'm, maybe I'm just not remembering properly. I'm trying to look at her, but she's behind a bunch of other dolls on my display right now. Um, but I don't know if mine had that little rope in her hair either. Uh, but anyway, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that widow's peak too. That's really cute. And the fluff at the bottom, just a very pretty one. You can see that the boxes, I think they must've been stored either in a garage or a basement or something, somewhere moist, because you can see that they got wet and the cardboard got stuck from the other boxes. So you could actually probably figure out exactly which box that piece goes to. Um, maybe the remnants of whichever one I didn't already get will be on one. Also, look, I wish they would do more, like, even though Bob Mackie did a lot of Barbies, it's not like this is a random designer or anything, but I wish they would do more designer clubs like this, because this is such a cute way to present the doll and makes her seem more special. Also, that sketch is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty. So, yeah. Another great holiday Barbie to add to my collection. So that's, I think, the only one that I, well, there's two that I like, three of them. 
yeah, there's three of them that I truly already have in my collection, but these are different versions of them. Anyway, okay, so we just did 2006. So now do we have, yeah, 2005. Uh, yeah, this is another Bob Mackie one. This one has like my favorite face. That sculpt is so beautiful. And look how fun this dress is. And I love the purple. This color is amazing. Also, this box is like not doing so hot. Like, yeah, I can't wait to wash these because definitely they're in a moist environment. Ooh, that art is gorgeous. I love her. So this is one that I've, I don't really see this one a lot in people's holiday Barbie collections, but probably because this one doesn't really read super holiday. Like, honestly, very little does, except maybe the fact, like, this looks icy, I guess, but it could be anything. Uh, but this is a really, really good one. I love the ribbons and Bob Mackie's dolls are just always immaculate. Just really, really good design taste. Really beautiful. And the sketches are always really awesome too. Ooh, Barbie makeover my holiday sweepstakes. As part of the special holiday celebration, Barbie doll invites you to enter for a chance to win your very own life-size gown designed by Bob Mackie and an incredible party for 100 of your family and friends. Do we know about this? Has that been documented? God, that's cool. Adorable. Really, really good one. So that's 2005. And then 2004 is notably missing, but I will say 2000 three is not in here um so anyway let next let's move to 2009 do we have 2009 oh yeah 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 so 2009 was the one i was the most excited about i that if you don't know i just got 2009 like, i just got the most common version of 2009 like two months ago so to find another version of 2009 which is probably my favorite holiday barbie i was like yes so this is our beautiful pink and gold, immaculate. I love this doll. And I just unboxed this doll too, like on a um, live stream, like less than a month ago, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this is one, this is the one I'm most excited about probably. No offense to the others, but are you kidding with this doll? So yeah, amazing, amazing. And this was the 50th anniversary one. I just love that she's pink. I'm not usually like a rose gold person or a gold ver person at all, but this just works so well. Um, very boring packaging though, I will say, especially if this is supposed to be like the 50th anniversary celebration doll. Um, but it doesn't matter because I'm getting this doll right out of the packaging. Look at her. Is this the hand painted version? I think so. That one looks quite different. Very pretty. Welcome to a holiday season sparkling with joy and rosy with the glow of love. So cute. So, so cute. So excited about this one. So yeah, so this is one, again, I do have like another version of her, but now I have both. Well, there's three. I think there's three. I don't know. I feel like usually they do three, but I never really see the third one. I usually see this one and yeah. Okay. Then we have, do we have 2010? Yes. So this is one whose dress I have, but I don't think I have the base doll, but maybe I do. Uh, but I don't have this big shrug thing and I definitely don't have the headband. So uh, this is a really cool one. I love this one. Uh, just a really, really cool outfit. And just the white and red. Very, very pretty. Very like um, this the frosted cherries, or not cherries, like little berries that they'll I just like that specific Christmas aesthetic. I think it's gorgeous. And look at her headband in there. And her face is very pretty too. That's a relatively new, I don't know if it's, I can't tell sculpts very well, but the screening style, I like that's very like 2010s era. And it says Barbie doll's favorite gifts of the season come wrapped in love and sparkle with joy. Best wishes for a delightful holiday and a very happy new year. 2010 holiday Barbie. Very simple, boring packaging, but honestly quite cute. It looks like a little gift box. Very, very fun her makeup is really awesome she's a cool one and then do we have 2011 okay 2011 is missing so that means either 2011 is the one that got grabbed was 2011 the one with the i feel like there's one with like a green dress right and i'm not saying 2004 i, I think it's 2011 because i have one whose dress i gave to a different doll and i think the dress is green and gold i'll put it on the screen if i'm if i'm remembering properly or i'll just in general here's 2011 that's the one that potentially already got bought or it was 2004. That's more like, that's more of a magical story because it would be like, Grr, I was so close. Uh, maybe I could ask because the person at the flea market like knew or the, the person at the antique mall knew. Anyway, so rest in peace 2011. For, well, I'm sure she found a wonderful home, but anyway, <laughs> rest in peace to me for not having this 2011. Uh, but here is 2012. And um, right, yeah. I'm not familiar with this one like at all, actually. Like, have you seen this one before? Was this just not a year? Um, She's cute. I like the silver and the fabric is a very very nice pattern it looks quite interesting i'm gonna need to get her out of the box to judge her fully i love that she has the silver jewelry on i think that's quite pretty and unusual because for some reason 
Christmas kind of associated with gold. I feel like the red and gold and green is very like iconic and specific. Um, but compared to the previous year, I can't even say for the next year, but I don't know. I can see why this one's not super well known, but I feel like the ones in the 2010s in general aren't super well known, but the 2017 one, I love that one. That one is so cool with the big star behind her picture. <laughs> anyway, it says wrapped with a bow and kissed with a flourish of silver glitter. Barbie doll brings the perfect holiday gift. This present is delivered with best wishes for a very joyous season and happiness throughout the new year. Holiday Barbie 2012 wears an exuberant red gown of satin, jacquard, and tulle. Is jacquard this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm pro also probably saying it wrong. A silvery jewelry suite celebrates the wonderful wintry tradition. I like this logo for Barbie collector. That's cute. Um, yeah, she has a really nice face too. I think she's quite cute. Very different faces between these two years, which is awesome. I'm glad. Um, very cute. Very, very cute. And then our last holiday Barbie is 2013. So they stopped collecting or maybe they kept the other ones. I don't know. Um, but here is 2013 and she is really pretty. I She looks really different from any holiday Barbies that I'm used to, but I'm not super familiar with all of the variants because you just don't see them very often. Um, she is so cool. I knew of this dress where they did the really delicate like snowflake cuts, like the laser cut snowflakes. And I am very curious to see how this one's going to look like all fluffed out and out of the packaging because I've always heard of this one in positive and negative light. Like people talk about her in both ways saying like, oh, it turned out looking really cheap and goofy or that it turned out looking like really, really glorious. I'm not thinking cheap and goofy, but I'm not fully getting the effect here. But I think it's mostly because they decided to do the white laser cut snowflakes on top of silver. That's very white. So it's kind of getting lost. Um, but I'm very excited about this one. I think she's really cool. I wish she had a headpiece of some sort, but her um, her makeup is really pretty. And then on the back. Oh, that's the <laughs> this was on the front of, two, of 2009's box, right? Yeah, that's this piece. Look, <laughs> so these two were together for a long time. <laughs> anyway, it says 2013 Holiday Barbie, a wintry world of silvery snowflakes, family, friends, and lots of love. This wonderful time of year has inspired Barbie for near for 25 years. Oh, was this the 25th anniversary for Okay. <laughs> um now she celebrates this dazzling season bringing you holiday greetings of peace, love, and joy. 2013 Holiday Barbie doll commemorates this silvery anniversary dressed in a festive shimmery gown. Another very boring box, but a very easily giftable box, so I don't know you can decide <laughs> if you like that or not and then so those are the holiday barbies again i paid five dollars for each of those could not believe it these are the specific holiday barbies we're like yeah i would have paid the 20 to 30 each for them that antique malls normally ask for that i normally sneer at um most of these i actually would have done it for them so <laughs> um that was just a really weird score I don't know why they decided I mean their whole booth was like furniture that was all ridiculously marked down too um I don't know if I showed in the video but there was a commode as well a vintage commode or antique probably so that was kind of funny anyway the last thing that I got is so my husband also got something from this booth and if you watch the hunt you know um but he got a little tv but I got these Ello things um if you don't know what elo is it was kind of mattel's response to lego i guess which is kind of funny because or no mattel has mega blocks is that them mega constructs they have something right now that they have pokemon with but anyway um these were like supposed to be girly building toys and i loved them as a kid i had them because i suspect my dad because my dad worked at toys r us and i know these clearance out hard so i think that's why i have them i still have them i no quite a few little pieces got lost over time so seeing this i was kind of tempted because this is from like some of the main sets or at least the main set the yellowopolis set and i know i had that set as a kid i had a lot of the sets I, i'm gonna have to look because i'm pretty sure i had all of them except some random little ones but anyway how they worked i'll show it to you more but they were just these funky very like mod interesting shapes I didn't, I wasn't super into the people, but I loved playing with these with my um, Littles Pet Shops. I thought it was awesome. But look, they would like show you, you can make stuff for your desk or you can make little houses and like decorations for your room. It's very cute. It's a very cute little world of things. And I really, really loved my Ellos. I thought they were awesome. This is a really cool toy. I just think they did not market it well at all. Or maybe there just wasn't room on the market for them at the time. I have no idea. But the way they work is that they have these little, you either use the squares or the circles. And they have little slots in them, see? And you use the slots to connect the pieces. 
And that's just one, that's the main thing that making the structures, but there's also a lot of other things going on. Like there's holes that you can put a little stick through and then you can use that stick to like make a person. You can also use these to make a face, so that's hair. Um, there's lots of really fun stuff going on with Ello. And the, oh no, I poured that out, that's fine. Um, this is one of the little sets. So this is Aquaria, I think it was called. I loved them. There's also a Jungala maybe, there was a jungle theme. It's just so cool. So this, I think, is showing you how to make stuff. Yeah. So this is an ideas little book, instructions on how to make stuff. So I don't know. If y'all would want to see a video on Ello, I could try. Oh, sweet. I think there is some of the Mermaid series Aquaria in here. That's fun. But yeah, I recognize these from my childhood. These are absolutely sets that I have, or at least had. Um, so I grabbed this because... I'm probably missing quite a few pieces because I still find them sometimes in with other things and I'm like mm. <laughs> like with my little pet shops or in with the Legos for example and there's little stickers too um I don't see any of the sticker sheets in here but I hope they are in here because that'd be great oh yeah score I didn't like to use the stickers because they were static cling stickers and they never worked they they were not good <laughs> it was very frustrating and they would get all rolled up and in my carpet and I'd have to go rescue them all the time but yeah Hello. Not something you see every day. I feel like I found them at a thrift store before, and I think I actually bought them. I don't think that goes to them, but maybe. Um, I think I did buy them when I found them at a thrift store before, because it was just a little bag of them. But anyway, this is like a whole tub of them. And it was marked at $36, which I don't know, that's probably a good deal considering how much you get. But I was like, just to complete some of my sets and to have like extra pieces, I don't know if that's worth $36 to me. But that whole booth was 80% off. So it became a lot more worth it. And my husband got a little TV that was going to be like $60, but he only paid around 10. So awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's my haul. It started from being a relatively small haul to becoming an absolutely enormous haul. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Another very long thrift video for you guys. Although again, like something about that specific antique mall that I went to, I don't really film a whole lot because until I find something, it's nothing. Like, it's boring. But I've showed it plenty of times if you want to see that antique mall more. But there's lots of fun stuff. Like, it's fun to be there. But from, like, I think from a viewer's perspective, I wouldn't want to see just that unless it was, like, a live stream of some sort, which I would probably not do because um, I would hate to accidentally film someone without their permission at, like, that sort of situation. Um, but, yeah, very, very exciting finds. Very Barbie um, focused finds. Like almost everything I found is Barbie related other than like the small stuff. So yeah, now I'm going to actually get to find this out because I told you guys I was going to open this, but I didn't want to move the camera. So now I'm going to get to open this stuff. But anyway, have you found anything exciting thrifting this week? Or what is your favorite of the things that I found? I think my favorite, I mean, I'm so hyped to have found Clara, um, but she kind of got very overshadowed because I found her after I found all of the holiday Barbies so I was still like writing that um but my favorite thing that I found is definitely this 2009 holiday Barbie for like my favorite ones like this I really would love to have all of the different like variants that they did and this one's so unbelievably gorgeous and the Ellos I'm super super like hyped about too I think those are awesome and also I'm just really excited that we found those precious moments dolls because my husband absolutely loves those dolls and, and we don't find them very often it's very unusual to find them so I mean, honestly, considering our percentage, like our batting average, we're doing quite well with finding the Precious Moments dolls, but I always feel bad when I find a bunch of stuff and he doesn't find anything, but he's a pickier collector. He collects less. I collect a lot more things, so I'm more likely to find stuff, you know? Um, but yeah. I think thrifting season is upon us, so get yourselves out. It, the, the weather was absolutely gorgeous today. I went outside today. And I don't mean I went to the store. I went outside and took a walk, so. <laughs> the weather is amazing, and the mosquitoes haven't come out yet, at least here. Uh, but yeah, for all this time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Guess who missed a bag? We did. Uh, so this was a random trip that I didn't really film a whole lot for, but it's the one with that Torlai. Uh, so I got this Cutie Mark Crew little set, I don't know, for $4.99. I don't have any from this set, and I thought it was really cute, so I picked it up. And welcome to the end screen, by the way. I am making this be the end screen as well. And then we also have this... What? I guess this had confetti in it that is now on my carpet. <laughs> um, anyway, we also got this, I swear to God, I'm still forgetting. Is it just Fear Squad, Ghoul Spirit, something like that? Torlai, really excited about her. She was $5. And if you're not familiar with Generation 3 of Monster High, this doll was exclusive to a six pack that is actually pretty hard to find now. And was only like, I think it was Walmart exclusive in the US and like wasn't sold anywhere else. 
Oh, she has like a really interesting face too. Anyway, I do have an extra of this set in box for my collection, but I'm just really happy to have another of her because I just love Torlai. It's so interesting that the thrift store does this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wash her off, but she's like brand new. So it's really awesome. And they also had Deuce, but he didn't have all his stuff with him. And then this little baggie of some goodies. I specifically wanted those shoes right there. And they had this shoe. For oh, both of them. Sweet. These go to Odette Barbie. I mean, I'm sure they go to other Barbies too, but they go to Odette. And those shoes are constantly falling off. So it'll be good to have extras because mine on display don't wear them because I'm scared of them getting lost. Even though like, where are they going to go? They're in my doll room. Uh, anyway, confetti time. Woo. Thanks for watching. Now you're probably seeing the subscribe button. Oh my gosh, consider it, please. I'm trying to get to 100K. Okay, bye. <laughs>